Hello everyone. Happy Tuesday. I hope everyone's having a wonderful, wonderful day. A wonderful week so far. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you like my videos, please hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, so you can become one of my awesome subscribers. If you're one of my awesome subscribers, welcome back. Welcome, welcome everyone. I am so, so happy that you decided to share your time with me today. Really makes my heart so warm when you all share your time with me. You could be doing anything. You show up for my videos and I just can't help make you to know how much I appreciate that. And I'm sorry, that was my husband. I should have locked the door, which I am gonna get up guys and do that. Um, because I don't want anybody else coming in. Uh, just because I'm, you know, I, I'm not gonna talk to them. I'm talking to you right now. Uh, and one of the things that I absolutely love, uh, not only uh, you guys sharing your time with me, it gives me the opportunity to feel the love from the community and doing hashtags. Um, I really enjoy the hashtags. I am a bit behind. Uh, some of them I have just gotten started with, uh, but it is something I'm really enjoying doing because it does give us all a chance to get to know each other. So pull up a seat, grab your favorite beverage. We're gonna be here for a few minutes because today I'm going to do the hashtag about my dolls. And this is hosted by Anna at Anna's Colorful Life. And she has came up with 10 questions about our dolls, about my dolls. So I'm gonna go through the questions and answer them and while I do that you all can just gaze at my gorgeous gorgeous little Jessie Marie she did the last uh, hashtag last video didn't see any reason to do anything else because she just looks too cute laying there and she's just gonna give you all a little eye candy while I do the questions so here we go with question number one. Are most of your dolls, wait a minute, do most of your dolls have rooted, painted hair, or bald? Well, I have two. Now I've got several babies, quite a few, but they're not all stained. So the ones that I'm talking about today are the ones that are definitely staying in my nursery. So I have two with painted hair, and that's my sweet little Noah and my little camera ham, Braxton Nicole. And then of course, Jessie Marie here is bald, but she will be rooted. I will root her. Uh, and then, um, I have my little nugget that I just got, um, yesterday that I still have to paint, and that one is going to definitely be a keeper. Uh, she will have, uh, rooted hair. And then I have my little baby. Uh, DJ uh, and he's bald so I have baby DJ the second and he's rooted so I guess 
they'll all be rooted by the time I'm finished, except for two painted babies because uh, I love Noah, Noah James. I love his painted hair. I like Braxton Nicole's hair, even though I would like her to be rooted. Uh, I like her paint job. I'm not sure if I will ever root her, um, but I do like her paint job. So I have two painted hair, three baldies um, that will end up with hair, and then one with hair, rooted hair. Hope that wasn't too confusing. <laughs> it almost confused me. Do most of your dolls have black, brown, auburn, red, blonde hair, or miscellaneous? Well, of course, the baldies are bald right now. Uh, but they will have rooted, uh, medium, baby brown hair. Not real dark, but medium baby brown hair. Um, and then the two uh, that are painted, which is my Noah and Braxton, they have the dark to black. Uh, dark brown is Noah. Braxton's a little more on the black. And then my baby DJ number two, he has a, a light dishwater blonde because I used my son's hair to root that one. All right, number three. Do you have more girls or boys in your collection? And that is very easy, easy to do right now. Right now, I have two boys. Well, we'll say three boys if you want to count my Baby DJ number two. He's my reborn room air freshener. Uh, so we'll say three boys. And then I have uh, girls. They're, the girls is taken over. I've got Braxton, Jesse Marie, uh, and the new little girl that I just got. So really, I guess it's three and three if you want to do it that way. If you want to count my little room freshener, baby DJ the second, then I have three boys, three girls. But it's going to be a lot more than that. But right now, that's what I have. Um, they're even. They're actually uh, even right now. Three boys, three girls. Number four is, do you use disposable or cloth diapers? Actually, I use both. Uh, I like cloth diapers, but I like the old time cloth diapers that you had to, well, I like, now you have to pre-fold them. You have to fold them. I actually had some for my oldest daughter, which is 46 years old. Uh, I had them for her, they were pre-folded, pre-folded um, cloth diapers, and I've actually, they're vintage, and I'm, I think I've got three in there um, that you have to use a pen, you have to use baby pens to put them on. Those are my favorite, those are my favorite, the pre-fold vintage diapers. I guess the next one, you know, and they're colorful. They, they, they've got different colors, little flowers, this is and that, so or the ones that you get now mostly are just white. They're extremely thin, extremely thin, and then you have to fold them. I'm not a big fan of those. Uh, and then once in a while, if I find the kind I'm looking for, I've had a little bit of trouble finding exactly what I want, uh, I will probably do the snap, the, the the uh, cloth diapers that had the snaps, but more cloth, uh, more disposable than cloth at the time, but I do prefer the cloth diapers. Okay, number five. Do you have more 
reborns, manufactured dolls, silicone dolls, Ameri Amer American dolls, cloth dolls, or etc. I do not have manufactured dolls as of yet, and I do not have any American dolls as of yet. I have equal, I guess. Let's see. I've got uh, one. I've got three, three reborns, one partial silicone, one full body silicone. So I have four silicone, I think, right now. It'll be more reborns uh, because Jesse Marie will be a partial that will never leave. I want a partial boy that's a silicone. Then I have my Jesse, or um, my Braxton Nicole and my Noah, which are reborns. I want them forever. I still want to get a set of twins that will be reborns and a toddler that's reborn and a newborn that's a reborn. So I'm going to have probably more reborns than silicone, but then I've got a full body. So I've got basically half and half right now. When I'm finished, I'll have more reborns than silicone, but I don't have any manufactured. The only cloth doll I have uh, out really right now is uh, a little cabbage patch. So, really, it's three reborns. Two partials. And one mini full body that I have now in my collection. Number six. Have you ever received a doll that was disappointing to you? Maybe not disappointing, but absolutely devastating. Um, and it was quite a few years back. I'm going to think it might, uh, maybe around 2000, wanting to think it was my, maybe around 2014, 2015. And there was approximately 50 of us that was badly scammed by an artist named Cindy Halen. And I'm not afraid to call that name out. I will say rest in peace. Cindy, because she's since then passed away. Um, but it doesn't change the fact of what happened before she passed away. And she wasn't sick. It wasn't like this was, she literally scanned about 50. Um, they were monster silicone babies, literally monster. Mine came in pieces, had, uh, Legs with no calves, feet with no calves, hands with no arms. I mean, it was a mess. And they, they were a mess. So, yes, definitely. Myself and about 50 others were completely devastated by this, this artist. Is there a such thing as your last doll? I swear it. <laughs> Oh, no, absolutely, absolutely yes. At some point, I think, right this minute, my brain is saying, once you get what you're looking for, and I've got them all in my head, who I'm looking for. So once I get all I'm looking for, I'll be done. I can say that now. Now let me get all the babies that I'm looking for. Ask me that question again. 
Um, because right now I say yes, I do see myself being finished with my collection. Um, that will get my collection finished and then we'll, we'll circle back to that question. Yeah, we'll circle back. All right, number, oh, did I skip one? No, number eight, name a few of your favorite dolls at the moment. All of my babies at the moment that I have are my favorites. And they're my favorites when I'm interacting with them. They're all my favorites because they will never leave my nursery. And that is, of course, my Jessie Marie that's here with us now. My baby DJ, which is a portrait uh, baby of my son. And his twin, which is baby DJ, uh, uh, the second, uh, which is my nursery room air freshener. I absolutely, you guys know, I love, love my Braxton Nicole. And I absolutely love my Noah. And then with my new little nugget, she's going to be well loved too. So I love all of them. And you said name a few, so there's my few. Baby DJ, Baby DJ the second, Noah James, Braxton Nicole, Jesse Marie, and my new little nugget with no name. Okay, number nine. Is there another doll that you want next? Yes. As I said, my collection is fairly new still very small and there are a few things that I do want and I'm not sure in which order so the question was is what do I want to get next I don't know it depends on what comes up first but the next babies I want is I want a set of twin reborn they will both be girls between the age of six and eight months in size. I want Myla by Ping Lao. That will, whenever she comes, I don't know, but she is one at the very, very top of my list. And I have fell in love with Delilah. Um, Mel from Melamore has a Delilah. I absolutely, absolutely fell in love with that baby. And I've watched the video a couple of times, but I haven't heard Mel mention who the sculpting artist is. I know she received, who she received Delilah from, but I don't know who, who sculpted the, you know, the Delilah sculpt. So I'm not sure if I'll ever get Delilah, but I do believe I want Delilah. And if I don't get Delilah, then I guess it would be Laura. I love the Laura sculpt by Bonnie Brown, but I do like Delilah a tad better. So the definitely it will probably the very next ones that I get will be Myla by Ping Lao because I, she's a specific baby I want. I would like her in AA or my racial uh, and I want to get her before she's gone completely. I believe she's an open edition right now and I don't want to miss out on her. The twins, I don't know who I want. I'll know when I find them. They just have to be big, chunky, happy, smiling babies. So I guess the very next one that I do want to get will be Myla by Ping Lao. Okay, the last question is question number 10. 
Have you ever forgot your doll's name? Not the names that I've given them. Um, I've never forgot the name I chose for them. I have forgotten the name of the sculpt multiple times. Yes, yes, yes. But like Jessie Marie, I gave her that name. The name of the sculpt is uh, Grumpy. Now, I don't think I would ever forget that. I haven't so far, but I know I'll never forget the name Jessie Marie. I, for one thing, unfortunately, I do have a memory like an elephant. Uh, yes, I'll goof up a little bit forgetting to put the tights on or the, you know, something silly. But when it comes to important things, I don't forget. I, I really don't. Um, and that's a, that's a little bit of a curse because there's some things I wouldn't mind forgetting um, that I just can't. But I, I never forget the baby's name that I gave them. But I do quite, quite often forget the name of the sculpt. And that, guys, is the end of the questions. And again, that tag was about my dolls. And it was hosted by Anna at Anna's Colorful Life. So, um, if you haven't found Anna yet, her, um, she is linked in the title. I, I highly suggest you go check her out. Um, you would enjoy it a lot, I'm sure. So once again, guys, I am so grateful for you taking your time to spend it here with me today. I very much enjoyed the tag, Anna. Thank you so much for hosting it. And I hope all of you are having a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you so much for coming by and seeing me again today, my second video. Uh, but still not uploaded. My Tuesday video is still not uploaded, so it's, it's being worked on, what can I say? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, love you guys. Oh, I do so much, much love all of you. And I am so grateful for you. I really, really am. Your support really means a lot to me. So I want everybody, everybody to be kind and nice and supportive to one another. Count your blessings. Count your blessings and thank God for them. Please. If it wasn't for God, we wouldn't be here. And I am very grateful because I do feel very blessed. I get down and out sometimes. I get a little low and depressed. Life will throw that at you. Of course it will. God brings me back down to the blessed and content, happy self that I am. So keep God in your you know, thoughts. Thank Him. Thank Him for everything because everything, everything we have came from Him. So have a great day, guys. I love you. I really do. Thank you so much for joining me again today. And I hope everyone has a blessed, blessed day. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.